Hey everyone, just want to do a quick update. Uh, hoop house is still looking good. Uh, my broccoli is growing really nice in here. And uh, I may just leave these in here. I was thinking about transplanting them. Uh, when it gets too hot, I'm, I'm probably just going to take this plastic off. Um, and just leave everything in here. I think the cabbage will probably be fine. Uh, I hate to dig it up and put it somewhere else. And just leave the onions until they bulb up. But uh, I was going to mention a little bit about how to make this hoop house that I've got. And I can pan back a little bit show you what it looks like. It's not really a house, I guess, but it's a, it's a hoop shape, kind of. <laughs> but uh, really easy to make this. Uh, I've got PVC pipe, and you can see um, down here I have some little clamps. and I, You might be able to see it down there, but just little clamps that go around here and screws that would screw this into uh, this board here, and it, it holds this pipe in place. And then I've got, so I've got four of those. It's really two pipes that's going across. And uh, up at the top, these are just zip ties holding those together. And this has been out here all winter long. I put it together in August, uh, September. And uh, this plastic has stayed on here. Now, how to hold the plastic on? Uh, what I did was just went around and used staples. And you can see one here. And ever so often, just staple it. Now, some of these have come out like here or whatever. And uh, I mean, it's still nice and tight. Uh, if it does come loose, you can just put another staple in there. It's pretty cheap, too. I, don't, I might have spent uh, maybe 10 bucks when you had the staples and staple gun and all that. So uh, this is held up pretty nice. I mean, to some pretty heavy wind and it's pretty durable. So I'll probably, this spring, I'll just take this plastic off. And then next spring, just wrap it, I mean, uh, this fall, just wrap it back up when I need to put some cold stuff in there. Or try to extend that growing season for some of my stuff. So that's that. Very easy. And um, I can't say that I came up with the idea. But uh, I kind of tweaked it to what I needed. As far as the distance for the pipes, uh, I have no idea how long they are. I think they were five feet. Um, I, had, I cut them myself, so... Um, maybe four feet. Not sure, but you know it's it's not really high. I guess you could go shorter. I mean, I'm not gonna grow anything in here that like corn. So, uh, but the stuff in here loves it. And during the day, if it gets too hot, I'll just I just open up this. As far as the door for it, uh, there's my door. It's a cut in the plastic, and I use these little clamps. To hold the plastic together for my door. I have five of these. Um, so I'll take the plastic like this, fold it over, take it and clamp it up all the way down, and then when I get to the bottom, I kind of fold it up like that and throw my little half brick to hold it together. And that's it. That's pretty easy, pretty cheap. Nice little greenhouse got going on out here. Um, so try it. Seems to work. Uh, as far as the garden stuff out here, I still have some onions. Some of my onions died. I think I put them out too early. And some of them are looking fine. Um, I did go ahead and put some little sets out here with them. You can see those. I just put these out a couple days ago. Uh, and on the other side, I'm like Bobby, the MHP gardener. If you haven't been to his uh, YouTube channel, you should go see it because he does a lot of great things. But he, last year, he uh, took his best garden space and made it a pump, I mean, a, a potato patch. And that's what I've done. This is my potato patch. Uh, mine's a little bit smaller than his. Just a little bit. Um, these are my broccoli. Of course, they're still alive. 
And I'm going to take these broccoli because I'm going to need this space for something else. I'm going to dig them back up and put them in a pot and see how long I can keep them alive. We'll see. Maybe I can transplant them again this fall <laughs> and keep eating off of them. I had an extra little cabbage, so I threw it out here just to see what would happen. It's still alive, so it's actually survived. I'm surprised, but onions are still over here. I did chop the tops off of these because I really want them to uh, bulb up, and they haven't yet. So I'll just leave them there until they do. Hopefully, they will eventually. And of course, more ugly broccoli, but still nice and tasty. It just keeps on giving. All right, we'll go out here to the greenhouse. I don't know if I've shown you my greenhouse, but this is what it looks like. Pretty decent size. If it gets too hot in there, I can roll up the sides. I can unzip my little windows, let it air out a little bit. Here's my door. It's very nice. It's very fancy. Just zippers. I paid $120 for it, so I think it's a pretty good deal. Um, my onions are still going. Looking nice. I think broccoli still going good size broccoli plants I think I'm probably just gonna leave these in the pots and because uh, they do good in pots uh, these are cabbages I will not leave these in pots and I got me some lettuce Put it out here so I can have a salad with my, all my broccoli that I have. <laughs> all right, that's all I've got. Um, thanks for watching. Post comments. Feel free to tell me what you think. Have a great week. See ya.